All right, Saturday, March 20th. Clear blue skies, no clouds, and uh, windy, but 61 degrees, but really nice. So, um, you'll have to excuse the wind, and uh, let's see what we got. You can sort of see it when we started. You know, we're gonna try to do this video in one take, like I try to do, as sloppy and messy as it is. So, what do we got? All right, as you can see, these are the Under Armour Hover Phantom 2s. And you know, it's not an issue. You know, it's something that came out earlier uh, last year, or late last year, actually, I think. Um, but you know what my channel's all about. You know, I try to find shoes um, that I like and that I wanted for my collection um and on sale you know and this is only the second pair of uh, under armor uh, uh shoes that i bought uh outside of cleats almost all my cleats are under armor the uh but as a daily shoe the only other shoe that i owned was the hover you know the phantom the, the first one the black one that i that i looked at which uh did really well um and i eventually you know, I love that shoe. I liked wearing it, but I ended up selling it on eBay because I wanted different shoes, that's all. So uh, I have already tried this shoe on at home. And uh, let's take it. I was ready to take these out. Come on. One-handed, huh? All right. All right. Um... As you know, you know, if you watch the first Phantom uh, video on my channel, you know that I love that shoe. I thought it was great. It was super, super comfortable. This shoe is um, probably not as comfortable, actually. It's close, uh, but I think the first version, you know, versus this one, was uh, a little bit more comfortable. The the foam. The, you know, the, the hover foam is, is exactly the, the same. What I mean by the, the comfort is um, this um, support cage right here um, wasn't as, it wasn't stitched or fused in, you know, to the uh, design of the uh, a shoe. It was a plastic piece and um, your shoe was a little bit more, that shoe was a little bit more um, giving. But, you know, at the same time, I was afraid to do anything kind of super sports related in that shoe because it was kind of giving and I didn't want to, I didn't want to roll my ankle. But as just working out in the gym and light running in it and, um, daily wear it was it was exceptional i just there was no way i was going to play you know go you know wear it out on the and play softball in it or which i wouldn't play softball in that shoe anyway but play anything like fast twitch is is a better way to put it you know i would as a casual shoe was perfect so i think they 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 fused this in and made the cage tighter on this shoe to address that is my is my opinion so this shoe comes with two sets of laces there's the, the black ones and then the white ones i'm just gonna leave the white ones in um the black ones are okay um it fits true to size the the uh um the knit material is um uh, pretty close to the previous version um i like it it's, you know, it, it's a tight shoe when you put it on. And it's form-fitting and it's, you know, it, it cups your ankle and that's great. Um, but it needs to, it, you know, you're going to need to wear it two or three times to get it to where you like it on your foot. When I first put it on, I was just like, well, maybe I'll return these, you know. And uh, then I, I just sort of 
walked around the house for about 10 minutes in it and uh then i was okay with it but uh and then and then said well if i wear this to the gym and do some stuff it'll it'll loosen up but it's it's con contoured or it's it's just a snug fit is a better way just you know easy way to say it um uh, 13 my toe is right about there so um nothing it's not short or anything whoa there's wind coming in sorry but uh you know there are more technical reviews on this shoe so you could definitely look for those um my shoe is not is not technical i know this this is nice on the bottom though compared to the other one the other one was all foam on the bottom this shoe they decided to um infuse a rubber plate uh on the bottom of it and um it's uh you know it's grippy you know it, it's it's not something that you could wear with turf obviously but um <clears throat> i don't know how it'll react on wet let's say you're <clears throat> walking or doing light jogs or or light sprints like hit training on the asphalt trails in your neighborhood um when those are wet those are those are slick for just for a lot of shoes so i don't know how well that this shoe will do on wet asphalt uh wet concrete i'm sure it'll probably do better um the heel cup is a little different than the other one the other one it, this is more um uh like let's try to get in the sun there we go um, this one is a little less, it's not as tall as the other one, and the, uh, they made it, they made it more, I don't know, we'll just say aerodynamic. It's, it doesn't do anything other than, you know, cup your heel, but, um, the other one was a little bit bigger. Um, feel-wise, with your heel in there, it's perfect, and the one thing I like about the, the first hover and this hover they're built like expensive running shoes. Um, and, you know, they are expensive. You know, the MSRP on these is 150 but I'll tell you the price that I paid for them a minute ago. So, but what's nice about these is there's an actual um, uh, padded collar on the inside that, you know, your, that, that cups your Achilles. You know, your heel sinks down into it. And then this piece right in here, you know, is a padded collar for your Achilles, which is nice. Um, and the first one did that too. This shoe also has Bluetooth in it. If you're going to use the My Walk or My Run app, um, you know it tracks and does uh, motivation. It's in the it's in the heel right there. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's in both, but it, it's, it probably is. Um, I didn't use that app on the other um, shoe. I had a friend who used it. They loved it. I'm not really big on, you know, a voice in my head earphones that says, you know, if you pick up your pace, you could reach this. I, I don't need motivation like that. So if you figure that you do, you know, that's a good thing. Um, I didn't buy this shoe for the Bluetooth. So I bought it because aesthetically it's, it's cool looking. And two, you know, because I, I like these little hints of orange with the white and black I think I think that's amazing but um I bought it because I loved the first hover and I wanted to see what the hover 2 was like and so far you know I'm not 100% sold but I'm not you know I'll say like I'm 90% happy with this shoe so far as I wear it more I bet it, I bet it'll be fine but um it wasn't Putting it on was different than putting on the, the first one. That's for sure. So, all right. This is the uh, UA Hover Phantom 2, you know, running workout shoe. So, um, you know, definitely pick up yourself, yourself a pair. I got mine at Dick's Sporting Goods. They did not uh, sponsor me. I got them on sale. They were $89.99 um, one weekend. Uh, they've actually gone back to their normal price again, like around 109 or something. But uh, they had them on sale for 89.99 in this color, 
and uh, I grabbed them and I had a $20 coupon. So I ended up getting them for like $69.99, which is, you know, what I'm all about. Finding great shoes at great prices. So uh, if you can, if you see this shoe and you see it on sale, I would grab it. It's, you know, it's, it's not heavy. It's not super light, but it feels like a, a like a good cross trainer, you know, even though it's, a, it's designated as a running shoe. Um, the, uh, definitely it's something, the reason I bought it was, is because I'm just going to work to the gym every day. You know, I generally wear my Adidas every day, but, um, I wanted a UA shoe to match my UA clothes. <laughs> Pathetic. But I hate cross branding in the gym. I think it's so tacky, but oh well. Um, and like I said, I wanted, I loved my first pair. Um, I, I I wanted to, I should have got another black pair, but I really like this color when it came out. <clears throat> I just wasn't going to spend the full price for it. So, all right. So, uh, hope you enjoy it. If you like the videos or if you like the honest reviews, give it a thumbs up, you know, s subscribe to the channel, please. And, uh, I'll have another shoe here probably in a week or two weeks, you know, probably be an Adidas. I got one, I got one coming that we can look at. So. Uh, and we'll go from there. All right, guys. I'll see you later.